fuck of the beast because beasts don't think. They call them human chattel. That's the same way of saying a herd of cattle in human form. They call them sheeple. Well, I'm the goddamn shepherd. And the shepherd gonna whack their ass with this rod of truth. I'm gonna split their motherfucking ass from asshole to app appetite with this double-edged sword they call the truth. Some motherfuckers is gonna cut free and exonerate. And some motherfuckers is gonna cut down to their knees. Because y'all going to see it clear now. Mother Nature going to shake these motherfuckers out in the open. The vibrational frequency of the Schumann resonance being restored is incompatible with the vibrational frequency of the ones that don't belong here. They never wanted the Schumann resonance to, to become the Shoe Tefnut resonance. They wanted to keep the male on male Homo testicle ass shit in place. Well, it ain't gonna work this time. I don't care what your lifestyle is, but you don't bring it. You don't put it. You don't start teaching children about heterosexual sex at no two and three years old. Let alone telling them they the opposite sex of what they was born as. They don't know who the fuck they is yet, and you didn't convince them that they something entirely other than what they was born as. And now because you don't accept what they was born as, but it ain't they fault. So if you're going to look at it from the position of righteous, you don't take it out on you on them. You took it out on the motherfuckers that did the dirt that caused them to be the way they became. That's who you take it out on. You never hold the victim more responsible for being a victim when you got the victimizer in your grasp. You choke that motherfucker tongue out. You grab that goose by the neck and you beat that motherfucker from pillar to post, from Boaz to Joaquin until you knock the post down. This is how you do this shit. But when you work with the laws of nature, you don't never have to raise a physical finger to slap one of these motherfuckers unless you want to. Because remember, you God too. And some of them lesser beings need to be chopped in the goddamn throat sometime in order for you to do the right thing. You know, so um, that's the message. Mother Nature gonna tear this bitch up until we see three kings. The vibrational frequency of the shoe tefnut resonance restoration and the pole shifting back to its original position, south being up, north being down, right? Which flips to east-west. They've been lying to you the whole time, telling you the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. But that's only because it had you upside down and turned around in your view and perspective of the world. Flip that shit, you can see clearly what they did. But if you don't flip that shit, take your map, turn it upside down. You'll see Florida is the elephant's trunk of the matriarchs. And the only time that you see a raised right hand of motherfucking God, which is the right hand of Mother Earth, where we all come from, we organic from the soil like the plants that grow here. A motherfucker can't tell you you came on no ship. We didn't come on no motherfucking ships. We grew from the ground in this bitch. Like acorns and motherfucking potatoes. We organic to this motherfucker. The women that vibrate with the frequency of the earth is synonymous with the earth itself. That's why when they, when they put their intentions with the dances that they practice, the practice is just harnessing the energy. Put the intention to shake this motherfucker and shake the parasites off and throw Atlas Shrugged. And when Atlas Shrugged, the parasites fell off. Because the result of Atlas Shrugging is shaking them motherfuckers like a dog shake off a flea. Because they don't vibrate at the right frequency, the motherfuckers suddenly to float up off the planet. But that's up to the sisters to take back this bitch. I didn't give y'all all they secrets. Drug that shit out in the open. Showed you what they doing. Showed you what Mother Nature said to do in response to her activity. The star families is doing the same thing to inform you. This whole shit about to bust open. As soon as we see three kings, balance is restored and we reset to a new beginning at the end and the close of the cycle. Every cycle has to be purged of all this motherfucking shadow shit. 
That's why the motherfuckers that got to do the work to come and see the motherfucking problem has to be heavily engaged in shadow work on the self. You got to go to your dark places. That's why a lot of us end up in prison. Because we ain't got no problem getting good dark places. But that ain't where we want to be. We'd rather walk in the light with the light. In the love of the light that'll shine around us. Which is the family. Which is the aura of the individual. It's the pride of the parents. It's the soul of the nation. But the nation is the corporation. So you snatch the soul out. And you restore the tribal structure. Because the soul of the straw man is the wrong impression. And the wrong impression makes for the wrong action. And this is why Dr. Malachi said right knowledge brings about right action. They all told us. And then I'm telling y'all exactly what they said do. We didn't come over on those ships because it's recorded in they motherfucking written and in our pictorial. We ain't, our ancestors, our elders who was us did never see no ships bringing no people over here. It's in the books. It's not a secret. It's in the public domain. So when they was asking them about the ships, they was like, we ain't seen no ships. This was hundreds of years ago. They didn't see no slave ships. These conquistadors brought battleships. That's why you can't find no slave ships. They was really ore boats. And they rode the fuck over here because Pietro del Negro was a navigator. How the fuck he gonna be a navigator and don't know where he at according to the planet and the stars that you have to be versed in in order to be a navigator. He was navigating the new world to your destruction. Well, we gonna throw this motherfucker out of whack. Reset this shit back to the old new world. Back to the matriarchy, the way shit supposed to be, right? But it got to be up to the three kings walking the land is the next thing that we need to see in order to know that our voice is being heard, right? Right now, they getting, send your motherfucking prayers to Big Tookie. Send some love to Big Tookie and hope that he be healthy, happy, and whole. Because the crooked man going to walk on this bitch and it's going gonna, it's gonna to fuck a lot of motherfuckers up just to see that. Just that whole idea is, is, is amazing to them. But where you see one, you're going to see three. They going together. And where you see three, you're going to see all of the elders walking with them that was political prisoners. They Because they're not going to leave unless they got everybody. Everybody that was crossed out by these dirt bags, they going to get them. We retraining the young men that that's in there that have been led astray by this system. It ain't about the money. It's about the family. The family generate the money by the love they have for one another. You become prosperous by accident. They don't want you to know this because then they can siphon off your motherfucking energy like a vampire. I'm going to tell you their secrets out in the open public domain. Giving them public notice. Shut this shit down. Put them three kings on the land. Crooked man motherfucking walking in this bitch. Crip, crip, crip. Free Larry Hoover. Let Chief motherfucking Malich Angel Bay fly back with the motherfucking key to freedom on this motherfucker. Because that's the motherfucking law enforcer of the land. So until he say move, ain't nobody supposed to be moving around this bitch on no military action. He the motherfucking lawman. According to the order and structure of the tribes and the nations of the people, the highest lawman in the land is Chief Malik Angel Bay. The left hand man, of the motherfucking Chief Hoover, King Hoover. The chairman of the board. What board? The board of the round table. What round table? The round table of the elders. Right? The Amaru order of the round table. They all sitting down waiting on motherfucking us to stop singing the blues. Nigga, it's a new day. This shit a rap. You know? So, I'm going to close it out with that. I hope I was able to give y'all some valuable information that y'all can use 
Use it to your best advantage if you can't use it, discard it. Never let nobody tell you exactly what to think, but they can show you how to think. Because if you know how to think, you can think for yourself. You can't be deceived because you already know everything. And the first order of the day is the contemplation of higher thought. If you don't aspire to think on a higher level, then you ain't going to never aspire to rise to a higher level. That's why that book say, let this man be in you, which is in Christ Jesus, which is the anointed Isis, which is the Ain Soph, which is Sophia herself, which is the wisdom of the ages. And wisdom is always justified to her children because mama children will always come and set mama back on, on, on a proper path. And mama's boys is home and we not bullshitting with these motherfuckers. We need to see these three kings and mother nature going to tear this bitch up until we satisfied. But not the men. These mitochondrial controlling divine feminines. They gonna start cutting motherfuckers birthrights off around this bitch. Because they know once they realize that the Psy priestesses, the birth maidens gave permission to women to give birth to children. They gonna start shutting off them ones with the rotten crotch so they don't keep reproducing that bullshit. Passing that shit on to motherfuckers kids. Drenochrome witches. You know? So, take my motherfucking rent. But listen careful to what I'm saying because I'm telling y'all what God love and that's the honest truth. So I'm telling y'all the truth from the position of right. That's the strongest motherfucking most powerful way you can get it. Some motherfuckers can't take the truth. That's their problem, not mine. My job is to tell it so y'all can see it. And when y'all see it, y'all can do something about it for yourself. You can look at where you fit in based on the patterns in your life. And you can execute your own motherfucking life script. And stop following their shit. They, they on some bullshit. Stop sending your children to them motherfucking um, auction blocks where they see them stalking people, kids called school. Hell. School is shoe. Shoe is shell. And shell mean hell. Stop sending your, your children there. Them your offspring. That's your future. That's your passport to return back to this motherfucker. You can either take motherfucking charge now and pack, come back to this motherfucker a thousand years from now in motherfucking glamour and glory or you can come back to a motherfucking tenement of war and death. But you got to make a choice because it ain't no middle ground. You're going to stand up for the children and raise the matriarchy is the only order of the day. And the only thing that the matriarchy need to see is three kings walking the land. Because they got them there for a reason. So since they got them there for a reason, they need to produce them motherfuckers. Make them produce them. That's it. And that's the end of the message. <clears throat> Because right now, the people don't understand the codes that are being flipped, and they're taking it as a lack of erudition or learning. So I'm going to do a couple more invites. Okay, so I'm that's 50 people. So since they let me do 50, so this is a 50-50 flip. I picked a single dollar up on the way here. In the, um, behind Emerson, which is an elementary school. And when I got over here, I bumped into a red SUV with a handy key, handicap key off of a master and a seated queen flips with a master two ball cane to flip me to four corner shuffle. Now, a lot of y'all don't know what that means, but it's translating a frequency in the universe into words and so it sounds different uh kind of jumbled message to, to the new beginner but your mind is programmed already to vibrate on the frequency that i'm flipping on and it gets your attention but all of a sudden you like hold on what the fuck i don't know what that nigga just said but whatever he said, that shit touched something somewhere in my motherfucking soul. And so you respond. 
And so the more I use the ling- the lingo, the language, the more the vibration stirs your inner frequency and you begin to come from the slumber. All right. So today's message is titled, Make It Plain Enough for a Baby. <clears throat> and my instructions is from T. Rogers and Suge Knight on the West Coast back to Farrakhan in the Midwest um, to uh, Cardi B. She answered, and this is what they call a Red Lodge response. So when the Blue Lodge speak from the Red Lodge, we have to speak the simplest possible English because of the mistranslation of the masculine father line and the feminine mother line leads us misled because we don't know how to see from the center. When you see from the center of the mother line and the father line, they call that seeing from a straight bump. That means that you love your mama, you love your daddy, you know they fight sometimes, but you ain't picking sides. You just know that dad is physically stronger than mama as a man, so you more likely to stop him from going too far if they get into a dispute. Well, because of our lack of awareness of our culture, and our lack of understanding of who we are and where we came from, all of us cannot assimilate the lessons that this life has been forced to teach you. So, goddamn right, contact your congressmen and women and other, because you know they got them alphabets, elemental cues and shit. Contact them motherfuckers and tell them, God the mother, queen of heaven and earth, wants a face-to-face with King Hoover and the people of the land is the ones responsible for getting the word through the people on the land that's from the land who have the natural right to the land whom they call indigenous. Okay? And so... The battle cry for our people from coast to coast, from pole to pole, free Larry Hoover, and there's not a negotiation. It's a direct statement from the people who indigenous to this land, who was here from the very beginning of the construction of what we call Earth, the what they call the originals. The children call back the parents because somebody then broke in mama house and took over. So big mama said we need to tell this to big papa so he can go in and drag the imposters out. The people that don't belong in there, big papa know everybody that belong in big mama house. If it's one motherfucker that don't belong in big mama house, she gonna turn her her baby boy loose and the baron don't play. So y'all familiar with y'all culture, y'all would know who Baron Samadhi is. You would know who the Ogun is. And you'll know why they hate out of everybody to call the last motherfucker they wanna call is the Ogun, right? So now I just had a message flipped to me on the ethers, a red blood blood drop under my right eye. That's T. Rogers wanting me to tell y'all he'll never let these devils beat him when he have the most powerful minds in the universe working on his behalf. This T. Rogers, blood, bloodstone out of California. All bloods know who he is. He is the bishop under um, Malik Angel Bay, Red Lodge, second in command. So he had to go organize the West Coast under the Red because they were getting out of hand and in disarray. 